And I think dialogue is a kind of ultimately really important thing in fashion generally. Mm. It's, it's always a dialogue. It's even a dialogue with your audience, with your wearer. Mm. For us, the last few years, when as the brand has grown to kind of get to know the customers and have that, that feedback loop has been really, really kind of developed the, the, the collections, I feel. But sometimes, you, sometimes people ask you, like, oh, what's the concept, what's the process? And I think that's just such a, it's such a linear way of working, you know? I think it's just, it just sits alongside each other all the time. I find generally it's quite artificial to impose like a um, concept. I think it's more than yeah. kind of find the narrative within mm. it. So what we're doing here is just is replicating the process that happened here. So they're working with a digital pattern um, that we got through the same process, so scanning um, the drape. Well, we met at the RCA um, on, our, on our MAs in menswear. Digital was something that started when I was at RCA. Because I was here below you know, RCA and I remember seeing you doing like something with a million pieces <laughs> and you were just sitting there and doing the same thing for like three days. <laughs> so I'm always drawn to people who have that type of process or just really into something quite nerdy I guess. And I, I guess you both have that. Starting with this side here, which wraps, is, is um, attached into the front and then wraps around to the back being totally fixed in place. I think like in our work, I always think a lot about sort of values and obviously working with denim, which is just so, uh, so, so common. But then working with a lot of fabric is very luxurious and I like that clash, I guess. With the jewelry as well, it's always about kind of making something discarded or old precious. So the draping really, it kind of comes from, comes from the idea of excess. And we talked about the Anolfini portrait, which was something we referenced mm. quite a lot. The sort of emerald colored really, really excessive fabric because they were rich people and then I thought, oh, you know, how interesting to kind of uh, play on this idea with the, with the fabric like denim, but also in a menswear context. So mm -hmm. it's about sort of soft masculinity and men being kind of embracing these sort of more softer values. So trying to find a way of working together, yeah. the digital, and I think earlier on it felt quite separate, like I'd go off into the computer and do something and yeah. come back to Per, and I think we're starting to find new software, new ways of doing things that actually yeah. make our working relationship more integrated than perhaps it was mm. in the beginning. If I think about your clothes, they're, mm. they are so real in the sort of felt way, like, mm. yeah, like, like a sort of the touch by the hand of the artist very much. Mm. There's a very much a feeling that they're very authentic, there's yeah. lots of poetry and depth in them. Mm. They don't feel sort of sci-fi or kind of space yeah. age yeah. or computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're very soulful, your clothes. Yeah. And I think that's what's so beautiful about that you two are working together on this. I guess as well <laughs> we're in the context of clothes, like this digital process could be seen as like taking away from craftsmanship because mm. it's taking it into the computer and it's taking it away from the hands. But in actual fact, it's even more hand done because yeah. you're having to think about yeah. how each piece actually fits together and how those panels are then going to be worn on the body. There's 
human process to that. I think that's, that's probably the, the fascinating thing for a lot of artists who are working digitally, is the whole digital thing feels like it's perfect and mathematical, and, but of course it goes wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And when it goes wrong you see things you didn't expect to see. I think for a lot of people that's been the sort of real way into this. Mm. You say, that looks amazing, what on earth's that? And it's something that prior to sort of being generous 20 years ago, none of us had ever seen. Yeah. Mm. You know, this sort of this vision of, of, of ourselves, this vision of the world, mm. by through computers. Oh, the echoes dance upon the land. 